In previous videos, I have put together this wonderful little data set that has calculated fields, that has joined information from another spreadsheet. And so I've got this lovely map of plant imports to the United States from countries around the world. It's very complicated. Lots of data in here. I might want to select certain things out of this data set. Maybe I want to find big countries or small countries with a lot of imports or a few imports. The most efficient way is not for me to start sorting in here and going like, okay, so the break point was one. Okay, so let's go with these, but then I don't want small countries. So let's go. That's not searching and hunting and pecking through the attribute table is not the way that we're going to most efficiently get through this data set. Instead, we're going to take advantage of the underlying structured query language or SQL capabilities of our attribute table. We're going to learn how to select by attributes within our data set here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. In our map tab, in our selection group, we have this button called select by attributes. And I am going to click that. Now I have no selection right now. I was messing around a little bit, but I hit clear. We always hit clear when we're messing around with our selections. The select by attributes window in ArcGIS Pro is much simpler than previous versions. In the old Arc, the SQL was right in front of you. You can see we have a little toggle switch here. Uh, it has simplified it to make it a little bit user friendly. We like user friendly. I'd say untoggle that SQL switch from time to time, though. It's really useful to see the underlying query that you're making in that data in the attribute table that you're working on. So my rows are coming from countries. Great. I'm going to make a new selection because I have no other selection to make. And let's say I want to see uh, small countries that have a lot of exports to the US or the US does a lot of imports from those countries. So I'm gonna look at small countries with a lot of exports, a lot of US importing action. For my definition of small, I'm going to use 100,000 square kilometers. So where area, is less than, I'm going to type this in only, 100,000. There we go. 100,000, yep. Please note, no thousands markers. And if you're using decimals, it's a period. So no thousands markers. Our decimal is a period. In this case, I just want 100,000 even. And I want an and here too. So small countries, but with lots of imports. I'm gonna say more than $10 million here. So imports greater than, all right, gotta make sure I have all my zeros, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is that right? Hundreds. Oh, is that 10? Did I do 10 billion on accident? 100,000. Oh, that is 10 billion. So I said I said 10 million. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. 10 million. Really tough keeping track of all your zeros. So where area is less than a hundred thousand square kilometers and imports are greater than 10 million dollars. Now, this looks nice and easy. Here's the sequel of it. This is the actual database language that we're using. A lot easier to see this way. But this is the underlying code. I think it's important to see both. I always encourage you, write what you're comfortable with, but then see what the other one looks like too. We're gonna hit okay on that. I can see that I have 96 countries with 10 million 
imports, but that are under 100,000 square kilometers. Those are all lit up here in my attribute table. When you do a selection, it lights up your attribute table. I can filter that down here. I could even uh, go to my symbology maybe uh, and not make the color the same as the select by. Let's change that. Uh, that's maybe better. That's probably worse, but we're gonna leave it like there anyway. You can chain as many select by attributes together as you want. You can ask as many different questions as you want. Maybe ask that 10 billion, maybe look for 10 billion instead. So we looked at selecting by attributes where we can filter and search in the attribute table based on whatever characteristics we're interested in. A great and powerful way to understand the data that you have.